Hi everyone, here's the Bookchemist once again, and this is just a quick video to let you know that I, I recently reviewed 10 Planets by Yuri Herrera on the Los Angeles Review of Books. Uh, it's a great collection of short stories that are as challenging as they are intriguing, taking a lot of science fiction tropes and spinning them on their heads and creating these visions that are almost hard to grasp and to fully visualize. As a collection, it put me in mind of certain words works of so-called high postmodernism. It reminded me most closely in particular of the short stories of Julio Cortázar, although there's also a lot of Calvino and Borges in here. Uh, at the same time, there's, there's definitely enough oddity in the collection to make it stand out as truly original. And lots of variety too. Some of the stories are just straight up funny, whereas others are almost disturbingly claustrophobic. One thing that I uh, that definitely resonated with me when it came to Ten Planets is that this, these stories are, are weird, but they are not as weird as they should be. They don't feel that way, at least. These are stories about dictatorial technology, about smart houses going rogue, uh, and many of these stories touch upon environmental disaster. But even though they're outlandish and, and truly strange, at the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if I read about similar events in the news, maybe in a few years, if not in a few months. What I'm trying to say with that is that Ten Planets definitely has lots to say about the world we live in, uh, just like the best science fiction, while apparently talking about this far-fetched future worlds, uh, often comments, always comments, on the times we are currently living in. Uh, it's a challenging collection, as I mentioned, but it rewards close reading. All of these stories are very short, but this brevity is really quite illusory. Uh, what I found personally is that going back to each story, maybe a few days after I first read them, really paid off and really allowed me to focus more and get more out of their challenging, uh, peculiar language, out of their distorted perspectives and their many stimulating elements. If all of this sounds intriguing, make sure to check out Ten Planets. Uh, and if you're curious, please do read my review on the Los Angeles Review of Books. I'll include a link to the review in the description box and I'll also include a link to uh, House Taken Over, which is one of the most accessible stories in the collection and definitely one of my favorite. And you get brownie points if you know uh, what House Taken Over is a reference to. Thanks so much to the people at And Other Stories, the British publisher of Ten Planets, for my uh, review copy of the collection. And thank you uh, for watching this review. Uh, and thanks to my patrons for supporting the YouTube channel. That's always great. Bye, everybody.